Okay, so this problem is 1822 sine of the product of an array. So it has all this stuff here, but I'm just going to explain this problem as simply as I can. So if I get this test case here, so say we're given this nums and it's this list here. Basically, if we were to take the product of all the numbers in this array, uh, would it be positive, negative, or zero? We return one if it's positive, negative one if it's negative, and just zero if it would be zero. So let's do the easiest case here. And the easiest case is if a zero exists in this array, it's just gonna be zero because anything times zero is zero. So if there's even one zero, the whole thing will be zero. So let's actually just do that case right away. And let's go through the nums. And if num is equal to zero, return zero. Uh, Cause we don't have to look any further. We know it's already zero. And then, so handling this positive and negative case. So if you recall, negative one times negative one equals one, but negative one times negative one times negative one equals negative one. So if there are an even number of negatives, then this whole thing will be positive. If there are, or if there are no negatives, no negatives or an even number of negatives, then the whole thing will be positive. If there's an odd number of negatives, then the whole thing will be negative. So basically, what does that mean? We just want to count the negatives. So let's just have something called negs, which is going to be, you know, the count of negative numbers. And basically, we want to have an else if num is less than zero, that means it's negative then we just simply increment that. And then at the end here, uh, we just need to return, what was it again? It was, if negs is even, then this whole thing is gonna be positive. So basically we can return, and then we want to take a condition, and we wanna check if negs is even. And if it's even, then we can return one. If it's odd, then we return negative one, because the whole thing will be negative. And if we run this, we got a semicolon, nice. If we run this, uh, we'll see that it works for this case. And let's submit this. We'll see we got 100% runtime. So I hope this was straightforward. Uh, this one is probably one of the easier ones, but I hope I helped out somewhat. And thanks for watching.